Okay, let's create an oscillator. A filter. Gain name. An ADSR. A MIDI note node. And the mixer. These are going to be the main tools that we are going to use. And uh, we are going to use two oscillators. Plug it into the first and the second slot. Use the same pitch and velocity value for both of them. And the pitch will come from the MIDI note node. The gate is going to go into the ADSR, which is going to drive the gain in. And the gain in will receive the filter, and the filter will receive the oscillators. And uh, this setup should more or less work. I don't know if I forgot something, but let's give this a go. I don't hear anything. Yeah, there's no velocity yet. So give it, let's say, some reasonable value. And it works. And uh, I want to turn this part into a section that defines the timbre of the sound. So this filter is not going to work like a regular filter. The function of it will be more like uh, something that shapes the waveform. And to be able to see what it does, I will need a scope. Um, actually, it's not needed. It's just uh, it just helps to see what happens. And let me set up this scope so that it really helps to visualize what happens. So the pitch uh, goes into the frequency input, and before it gets there, we convert it to hertz and set this to hertz input. And let me get all the oscillators. So when we hit a key, they start from zero. And let's use this gate input here and gate the scope as well. So now we will see the waveform exactly. It just works. And this setup should, should be fine. It's important to have different uh, pitches on the oscillators. And what we are going to make use of is uh, audio rate modulation of the cutoff. So I will just simply plug in the signal and create a multiplier here. So we scale the audio signal from minus one and one to in between, let's say, the range of this is from 0 to 135, so let's use 60. So we, we are going from minus 60 to 60. And um, actually, this is going to be the main effect here. So I can crank up the cutoff modulation, and let's see what happens if I turn this up. The waveform is not constant throughout the whole um, range. So let's use the pitch input here and plug it into the keyboard tracking input and crank this up. And as you can see, we have two oscillators and a filter. And we have a completely different waveform than we had before. So this is what the two oscillators will give. And this is what we have. It's, it's <laughs> completely different. And by fine-tuning the second oscillator, we can create movement.
and since we think of this part as an oscillator we can add another filter after it and voila we have a dubstep bubble but this method is good for creating all kinds of um, analog sounding but dirty sounding sounds from leads to bass sounds to as you heard before bubble sounds so i hope you had fun watching this and if you like these videos please subscribe and leave a comment below so have a nice day bye bye